Hey, my friend, as I was driving into the office this morning, I was thinking about and thinking back to my experience building successful and also struggling businesses online over the course of the past 10 years. And I was, as I was driving and I was walking into the office, my main intention for today was I wanted to come in and I wanted to make you a video for anybody who's struggling to understand how to build a profitable business online. And I wanna show you how I actually developed a high ticket business that has paid me very handsomely over the years to the tunes of millions of dollars. And I wanna show you how I started it with no prior knowledge or experience. But the first thing that we have to do before we get into any of that is we actually have to look at some of the different business models out there online. And we have to assess why they may work or why they may not be working for you right now. Look, if you're anything like me, then you probably have tried all of them. If businesses are like a multiple choice question, you probably chose all of the above if you're anything like me. And that's totally okay. I, uh, there may be people in your life who sort of uh, put you down for that or who don't really support you because you do that, but I get it. I understand it. You want to be successful. You, you believe that you deserve more. And what I want to do inside of this video is help you actually understand why what you've been doing up until this point may not be working for you. So first and foremost, I want to categorize most business models into two different categories, okay? The first category category is going to be low to no profit business models. And the second category is actually business models that require significant skills. Okay, so let's go over here and let's start with low to no profit business models. Now, the truth is, is that even though e-commerce and Amazon and Shopify and all of these these business models that are under the e-com umbrella have had a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement around them and people view them as they're going to be easy and they can kind of hide behind their computer and all of that might be true but the truth of the matter is is that the majority of e-com products and business models have a low to no profit margin, meaning that you're not even going to be able to generate enough revenue to pay for your ad spend, let alone take a withdrawal out of your business, let alone pay for any of your overhead or any of the other things that it actually takes to run a real business. Now, let's talk about MLM. Sure, it's exciting, the idea or the thought of getting three who get three who get three and eventually you're going to be rich. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's difficult to go out and recruit people. It's difficult to do home and hotel meetings. It's even difficult to go live every day and try to keep the excitement in your business and then deal with the attrition and the people quitting and people calling your business a pyramid scheme and all of these other issues that MLMers deal with on a daily basis. Not to mention the fact that it is a low to no profit business model, okay? Last but not least, in this particular category is 90% of affiliate marketing. 90% of affiliate marketing, you're generating a product sale that's low to that's a, that's a very low commission, uh, and you're not even getting to earn off of the lifetime of that customer. So you're sending the product owner a sale, they pay you a low commission, they keep all of the other profit from any other sale that comes from that particular customer, and it is a lose-lose situation for you, the affiliate. Now, let's talk about other business models, particularly consulting, coaching, and agency work. These are all business models that are completely legitimate and even exciting, especially if you've done some of these other business models in the past and you say, hey, look, I want to get started with something to where I can you know, help people. I can use my wisdom or my knowledge or my experience or even leverage the experience of somebody else and I can essentially be the broker of that knowledge. Well, here's the truth of the matter is that as you get into coaching and consulting for, for an example, it requires actual real life experience. It requires real life expertise. And if you're gonna be doing agency work, meaning that maybe you're gonna be doing social media management or lead generation or something like that, not only do you need to know how to close these sales, but most importantly, you need to know how to deliver these services on the back end so your clients don't quit each and every month and it just becomes a giant revolving door. Now, I want to talk about, after all of my time and experience inside 
of this online marketing space, literally generating hundreds of millions of dollars in sales of my own products, there's one business model, one business model that stood the test of time that not only advanced marketers and entrepreneurs have been successful with, but also intermediate and newbies, complete newbies who have never made any money online before. And would you like to know what it is? I bet you would. Here it is. Brace yourself. It's selling high ticket products and services that are valuable, that actually help people, right? Now that's the key, is they gotta be valuable and they gotta actually help people, okay? Now, in order to understand this and how this works, let's just look at some basic math, which is what a lot of people fail to do before they actually start their business, which is ask themselves on paper, is what I'm doing actually gonna result in profits, okay? Now, with all of my experience of working with tens of thousands of people all over the world, there seems to be a common theme that $10,000 a month, which is just a bit over six figures a year, is a very common goal that people have. So let's use that as an example. And let's take, for example, $10,000 a month or $10,000 income goal. I'm selling a product that goes for $20 or that pays a $20 commission. I have to make 500 sales in order to hit that goal. Now let me tell you something. Making 500 sales of anything is almost as impossible as winning the lotto. Now I'm not saying that it can't be done, but it's a struggle even for the most expert marketers to accomplish. Now let's look at something that's a little bit different. We've got a $10,000 a month income goal. We've got a product that generates or nets a $1,000 commission. That's going to require us to make 10 sales per month. Now, again, when we look at the math, oftentimes we don't really consider this before we start a business because most entrepreneurs make business decisions based on emotion, right? But when we look at this logically, it makes a lot of sense. Now, I want to take this a step further. What if we have a product to where we earn a $2,000 commission or it goes for $2,000? Or what about $5,000? Now all of a sudden, we have to make five sales, and in the case of $5,000 product price or commission, we have to make two sales. If this interests you, and you'd like to learn how to actually start and grow a business that is going to not only fulfill you, right, but is also going to serve people and actually help them, then I want you to click the link above or below this video, and I want to show you how I can help you develop a business plan to be able to do this, provide you with all of the scripts, all of the templates, and even provide personal help and guidance to help you get it set up and help you get it going. My friend, you deserve success, and I want to do everything in my power to help you achieve it. Click that link, and I'll see you over on the other side.